Uh, so we're here in San Francisco today, and um, so tell me a little bit, why did you decide is San Francisco the place for Little Brother? Well, there's a lot of reasons. I mean, for one thing, obviously San Francisco has this great counterculture history, you know, and, and so writing a story about kids who become radical and, and lead a radical movement in the streets of San Francisco, there's all that resonance with all the different radical movements through San Francisco's history, whether it's queer liberation, the yippies and the hippies, um, uh, but, and even before that, you know, the, 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 um, the well, uh, last year's one, one Book, One City pick, the Solent's, um, uh, um, a paradise born, uh, a paradise built in hell, talks about the kind of bohemian uh, cultures that arose spontaneously out of the 1905 earthquake. So San Francisco has always been one of these 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 kind of origin nodes for kind of groovy countercultural stuff. You know, they say when the continent was founded, they picked it up and shook it, and everything loose and flaky slid to the west coast, <laughs> and you know it it lodged here in the bay. You know, for for, for, for and, and here we are. I mean, this amazing city. But also, because a funny thing happened after 9/11, which is that um, people who had never had much time for New York and who thought of it as a kind of embodied Sodom and Gomorrah and who, who you know, thought of it as like a, 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 a pit of, of, of uh, fuzzy-headed liberalism and, and you know, uh, kind of cosmopolitan uh, sin, um, all of a sudden after New York was attacked became in their hearts and souls New Yorkers and beat their breast and demanded that in, in return for this horrible attack on this city that they suddenly realized they had all this emotional attachment to, provided that emotional attachment gave them the basis for demanding uh, uh, wars in foreign countries, that they would, that they would de declare themselves to be honorary New Yorkers. And moreover, as honorary New Yorkers, feel that they had a legitimate say in demanding that New York be turned into a police state because it's for everybody's benefit. And I thought, you know, there are a lot of those people for whom uh, you know, New York is, is kind of San Francisco light in the Sodom and Gomorrah department, but who would be perfectly happy to declare themselves to be honorary San Franciscans after a terrorist attack on San Francisco, especially if it meant that they could endorse a kind of uh, instant overnight police statification of San Francisco for its own good.